The resurrection of Zachary Wheeler. The resurrection of Zachary Wheeler is a 1971 science fiction film directed by Bob Wynn and starring Leslie Nielsen, Bradford Dillman and Angie Dickinson. This was one of the earliest films to depict medical exploitation of cloning, even though the term was not used. It was shot on videotape and transferred to film for a theatrical and TV release. Gold Key Entertainment commissioned this film at the same time as it commissioned the film The Day of the Wolves and tried to persuade Ferd Grove to film that on video because of the cost savings, but he declined. Plot Reporter Harry Walsh Nielsen witnesses a motor accident in which two people are killed. Recognising the survivor, Senator Clayton Zachary Wheeler, Dillman E. rides with him in the ambulance. After he reports Wheeler's accident from the hospital, the staff tells him there is no such person admitted. Walsh's editor orders him to retract his story, which he refuses to do at the cost of his job. Some detective work leads him to Lamagordo, New Mexico. Meanwhile, Wheeler wakes up in a secret hospital run by Dr. Redding Dolly and Dr. Lael Johnson Dickinson. He finds out he is the recipient of an incredible transplant, utilising organs harvested from somers. These somers are bodies artificially grown from his own DNA. Walsh has to allude to less than brilliant agents on his way to Alamogordo, finally escaping them, travelling with some migrant workers. Wheeler learns that the fee for his surgery is to do whatever he can do as senator for the committee a form of medical blackmail. Shielding work, the committee chairman refers to it as a new type of money. Wheeler refuses to cooperate and threatens to turn the whole operation in Shielding warns him he will never win a presidential nomination if news of his heart transplant gets out. In a Lamagordo, Walsh deduces that Wheeler's plane must have gone to Los Alamos, size of the old Manhattan project. With the help of a newspaper buddy, he lands at the base and discovers an extra sum of Wheeler. Thinking it to be the senator, he breaks it out and commandeers Dr. Johnson's car. The car wrecks when Walsh swerves to avoid hitting several somers wandering around. Johnson is injured and Fielding tries to use the situation to change Wheeler's position, threatening not to save her. As Wheeler has grown fond of her, his resolve is weakening, but Redding assures him she's not badly injured. Walsh and Wheeler finally meet, and agree to expose the committee together, even as Fielding and Redding discuss a new client they have been hoping for. Cass Leslie Nielsen Harry Walsh Bradford Dillman Sen Clayton Zachary Wheeler Slash Summer James Dolly Dr. Redding Angie Dickinson Dr. Lael Johnson Robert J. Wilk Hugh Fielding Jack Carter Dwight Chillis Dan Haggerty Jake Lou Brown Collins Richard Jala Bates Dick Simmons Adams William Bryant Craig Harmon Tris Coffin Dr. Keating Peter Mamakos Premier Mabler Ruben Morno General Muas Steve Corey Cousin Steve Cunt Radio Opera Hash 2 Production Tom Rolfe got the idea for the film reading about organ transplants in Esquire. At the time, he was production coordinator on the TV series The Big Valley. Rolf told his friend Jay Sims, a writer on the series, about his idea. Together, they wrote the film in about three weeks. They gave the script to Sims' agent, who likes it. Rolf felt that despite the low budget, the film was ahead of its time and was pleased with it. Rolf was normally an editor and this film was his only writing credit. The name used for the clones, Soma, is Greek for body. They share the name with the hallucinogenic drug used by the urbanites in Aldous Huxley's 1932 novel, Brave New World. The film is noted as possibly the earliest to depict surgical transplants using clones for parts. According to Variety, this was the first American film to be shot on videotape and transferred to film for release. Actually, there had been others such as T. Ahem, I, Joe, before it.